The IFMSA congratulates the ongoing work of the regional office to strengthen capacities and provide technical assistance to member states to deal with invasive mosquitoes and re-emerging factor-borne diseases, despite limited resources. Factor-borne diseases have been low endemic and epidemic autonomous in Europe for decades. Nevertheless, recent increases in the introduction and establishments of invasive mosquitoes, accompanied by the dramatically growing incidences of dengue, chikungunya and zika, raise substantial concerns. The IFMSA recognizes that combating factor-borne disease is likely to face additional challenges in the coming years due to habitat changes, climate change, international travel and increased human mobility. To identify high-risk situations and create prediction models, it is essential to acquire knowledge on host preferences, relevant breeding places and factor competence under European conditions. Yet, data on factor-borne diseases provided by many member states is inaccurate and submissions not regular hampering epidemiological understanding. Furthermore, we want to underscore the connectiveness and interdependence of animal, human and environmental health, illustrated by factor-borne diseases. This demands a paradigm shift to a One Health strategy, unmentioned in the regional framework. Therefore, to achieve the regional goal, we urge member states and all stakeholders to firstly make strong political commitments supported by sufficient human and financial resources to implement appropriate disease and factor surveillance and prediction systems at the national and subnational levels. Secondly, to ensure accurate and regular data submissions to the World Health Organization. And thirdly, to strengthen intersexual and intersectorial collaboration while taking into account the integrating programs, policies, legislation and research in which multiple sectors communicate and collaborate, having the World Health approach in mind. This framework gives us a desired direction, a path to follow, yet only with strong political commitments community engagement and mobilization, we will be able to build resilience.